the University of Periodic Review is uh, an international human rights monitoring mechanism. Um, normally we say it's, the, it's an international um, human rights implementation monitoring and reporting mechanism, um, which was established as part of the reforms of the Commission on Human Rights, uh, which took place in uh, 2006. Um, the objectives of the, uh, of, of the Universal Periodic Review is to uh, enhance human rights on the ground, uh, which means that in every country, every UN member uh, country. And um, in line with the, that objective, the Universal Periodic Review um, applies to all 192 UN member countries. Um, every after four years, each of the 192 member UN member countries uh, is subjected to a universal periodic review. There are other international human rights um, implementation um, monitoring and reporting mechanisms other than the universal periodic review. But the difference between these mechanisms is that the universal periodic review, one is universal, which means that it involves all, all 192 member, uh, UN member countries. And secondly, is that it takes a different approach. These other mechanisms use uh, experts in terms of reviewing the state of human rights in, each, in these countries that are signatories and they have ratified the individual uh, human rights instruments. And no wonder these are, others are called treat bodies. Eh? They are treat bodies, which means that uh, you are reviewed, your human rights performance is reviewed based on the treaty that you have ratified. But the Universal Periodic Review applies even to those countries that have not ratified particular um, uh, uh, international human rights uh, treaties. Um, the other um, likable the characteristic of the Universal Periodic Review is that uh, it, it, it approaches human rights review from a, uh, from a, corporate, a, co a, co a corporation point of view. Um, countries are expected um, to cooperate. Um, it's non-confrontational, which means that a country avails itself uh, without creation to be subjected to review every after four or five or four and a half years when it's due for review. Um, and so far Zambia has undergone three reviews um, in 2008 or 2008. <laughs> and then Zambia was also reviewed in 2012. It was reviewed last year again for the third time um, in 2017. Um, in 2008, um, Zambia received about uh, 39 recommendations and 23% um, of those recommendations were accepted. In 2012, Zambia received 127 recommendations and 24% of those recommendations were accepted. In 2012, um, Zambia received 203 recommendations and the indication that 182 uh, recommendations have so far been accepted. Um, which is a, a, a quite um, a, a, um, a progressive thing uh, and, and um, we would like to commend the government for that because we seem to be moving in the right direction. And the one particular, um, um, one particular um, uh, issue that we insisted upon when we are making a recommendation the government, that the government should accept more of this recommendation is that they should begin to move away from rejecting recommendation based on um, one thing that they don't like which is part of that recommendation but begin to accept recommendations um, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the reservation so to say which means that they can accept part of the recommendation not entire recommendation and that's what you will see um, as, a, as, a, as a common feature going forward that the state will begin starting from um, uh, this report which has just been adopted, which was adopted uh, last, um, was it uh, last Monday, uh, 16th March 2018. 
the government has started now accepting recommendations or part acceptance of recommendations. Um, it's a good thing in that then you do not lose out the good things that are good for the country uh, just because there's one element that uh, is not liked by, by government. Uh, moreover, these are some of the issues that uh, um, that government has been working so hard you know, to implement even under the 7th National Development Plan.